Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the Finishing Blow. Um, it's hot, and I don't know, I don't like it at all. Like, it reminds me when I was out here last summer. I've done so many of these videos. I was looking, this video is video 40. That's 40 weeks of me out here wandering. Well, besides that one where I did the webcam. Um, real quick, I'm probably gonna trip over that branch um, at some point in time, just so you know, because, uh, <clears throat> okay, yeah, that was an over-exaggerated jump but I'll probably fall when I get really into a conversation with myself, um, I'll fall. So just a heads up, if I just disappear out of frame, uh, that branch is gonna be why. Uh, so yeah, uh, episode 40 for the finishing blow, I actually remembered when it ends in a zero for once and I there's nothing celebratory about it, to be honest with you. I probably should've waited till like 50, um, you know, cause at least that's like a cool number. 40 is not really that cool of a number. Um, so, uh, I guess I should talk about the website. A lot of stuff happened on the, uh, webpage. Hopefully you guys got a chance to check it out. A lot of stuff I want to talk about and I need to cover. So, we'll just jump right into it. Uh, first one, awesome way to start the week, is Jackie Chan talking about the Chinese Zodiac. Ugh! He said that there's going to be a four minute long stunt sequence. And they're going to, uh, take two months to shoot it. Uh, he hasn't actually said what the stunt is, which obviously would ruin the movie. It wouldn't ruin the actual movie, but it's it's pretty much like the finale stunt. Um, they said all the concept shoot, like the initial shooting has been done. Pretty much this uh, stunt sequence and then some other locations they got to film in. Which is awesome, but there's still a lot of time in the year to uh, finish filming. So I hope that they like actually use that time. Because Jackie used to like, for fights, oh, he used to like take months. Like, uh, what was it, Legend of the Drunken Master? It didn't take like four months, I think, to do the end sequence. That would have been awesome. But, um, I don't know, hopefully it'll be good regardless. But the stunt, anyways, he was in uh, Dubai, and I guess he wanted to use the towers until he remembered that like Tom Cruise did it for Mission Impossible 4. And um, so he's not gonna do that, obviously, because he doesn't want to be called a copycat, which I don't think he would anyways. But he said it's gonna be this, like a higher level of risk than what Tom Cruise did. Can you imagine that? That's insane. Like, I don't know if you guys seen Mission Impossible or not. I actually did see it, and it was it was good. Um, I just think that Jackie's gonna top it. Like, I'll probably go back and watch uh, Ghost Protocol later and be like, this is nothing. Jackie Chan is amazing. Um, I, I'd say that regardless. Um, so yeah, four minute long stunt sequence. I don't know how they're gonna do that. Like, if they're gonna just add more ridiculosity as the stunt progresses or whatever, but it's it's gonna be sweet uh, for sure. Plus it's gonna be an IMAX. Ugh, I really hope it comes to the States, like seriously, because uh, I'll talk about the raid later, but um, I, I don't get to watch that as early as I had hoped I would. Anyways, uh, actually, do I need to talk about the raid next? I do! Nice segue until I forgot that it would have been a good segue and then it became a bad segue. Um, I'm gonna stop saying segue. Uh, so Gareth Evans on a uh, like, what's it called, like uh, unofficial uh, Q and A session. He was with uh, Eastern Kicks is the is the uh, website that I pulled the actual interview from. But he talks a lot about the raid and just answers pretty much any question that people had on it, and it's awesome. Like there, it's it's a really long article. I posted a few of the things, but if you actually go to the website, um, there's a ton of stuff that he talked about, but just about uh, what he thinks about the remake uh, that Sony's gonna do, um, how it was like, I thought it was weird that he actually designed the set around the choreography so they would make the action first and then they would build the set to fit it because I'm very used to like Jackie Chan method I guess where like they go to the set and they're like oh we'll use this ladder or we'll use this as opposed to like Gareth he wants to do like oh we're gonna make a hole in the floor and um we're gonna film it this way and do these things with it and the more you think about it, the more it makes sense because that way everybody knows like where the lighting's gonna be where the people are gonna be how to build the set so um it's interesting it's a very different perspective um on how to film a martial arts sequence and obviously people love the film already so it's worth it it works for him but yeah they did that for like storyboarding like they could go back and just watch what they shot when they were training and they could just convert that to the actual film which is sweet, um, but one of my favorite quotes from the interview is, I don't remember the exact quote, but it's, they asked him how he thought about uh, Sony doing a remake, and he's like, oh, if they want to 
do that, go ahead, because I literally have exhausted every way to kill a person with a door. That's exciting. I want to see how many ways a person can die via a door. Um, if you guys have seen the hallway fight, there's one where he like lunges and uh, drops that dude on there. Um, hopefully you've seen that fight. It's awesome. And it's not like you're going to miss out and not get a good fight. It's not like one of those movies where it's like, oh, all the funny parts are going to be in the trailer. No, it's like a couple minutes of dialogue and then just ridiculosity. So anyways, I'll rant about the rate again later on when I talk about uh, Thursday's post. Huh? It's like a steel trap. It should, it's stainless steel. It doesn't rust. Um, and I don't know why it's a trap, actually. It, that sounds kind of dangerous. But uh, I remember things most of the time. No, I don't. If you watch these videos, you know I don't remember anything ever again. That bird is really loud. Ugh. Just wants attention. Um, okay, so Tuesday. Uh, I thought it was a big post. Hopefully you guys checked it out. Unlucky stars. Uh, so many people that are associated with this. Um, I guess we'll just start from the top, but the film itself is kind of a throwback to the old uh, like Hong Kong action films. Obviously, Unlucky Stars is kind of a, uh, like My Lucky Stars, Twinkle Twinkle Lucky Stars, uh, kind of a throwback to that. And then if you really watch the trailer, which I said in my article, and I'll, I'll tell you well, at least what I noticed, um, was when uh, Vlad's fighting, he's got the suspenders, and then, um, is it uh, Sam has the uh, red shirt, kind of like uh, Richard Norton did um, for uh, Twinkle Twinkle Lucky Stars? Eh? So anyways, uh, yeah, check out the trailer. It's awesome. It's, it's like funny and the action is super solid. It's just, it's going to be sick. So that being said, like, I don't even know if I should like list everybody off the top of my head, but obviously like Vlad, uh, Dennis is directing it, Vlad's doing the choreography. Um, well, it's in there. Sam Hargrave, uh, Sean, Manny. I know I'm missing a ton of people. Ken is in there. Uh, I'm forgetting some people. I'm sorry, but there's a bunch. Like, it was a big project. A lot of people collaborated on it. And you can tell. Like, these guys know what they're doing. They care about the source material. And um, they're going to they're gonna do it justice. So, they're doing a fundraiser. Very similar to, like, how Death Grip did theirs for the... Uh, uh, fundraiser, uh, same company I think, the Indiegogo, but you can go to the site and you can make a donation and depending on your donation you can get different things so like 20 bucks gets you the movie. So not only are you helping make the movie but you already have a copy for yourself um, and it'll be signed by the cast or uh, I think one of the cast members but the more you donate the more things you get in return which is pretty sweet but uh, just check out the trailer and if you can't donate anything just spreading the word is more than helpful uh just me rambling you know i i have a big mouth um not like physically big like big mouth i, I say a lot of things um but not like everything I, my, my mouth isn't loose it's tight um let's i don't think this is going where i want it i'm gonna stop but anyways spread the word was the uh the important part of that ramble um yeah do what you can if you can support them uh donate donate money if not just post it on your facebook or your twitter or on your web uh on your blog or website uh evil dollar thank you so much for posting it um do appreciate that it's it's sick so um anyways i, I don't want to say too much else about it check out the, ch the teaser trailer and if you go to their uh if you go to my page or their uh indiegogo page you can see like a behind the scenes where uh vlad and dennis and them kind of talk more in depth about the actual film so be sure to check it out you you will not be disappointed i promise um okay so what happened after that okay after that on wednesday was a hd official english subbed trailer for kenshin and um i mentioned this in my last week's video and if you guys actually did like the facebook page um i did post it immediately after which it was from like a japanese talk show um but like this one is like the legit HD version of the trailer. Now I know a lot of guys are like, or people I guess I should say are excited about the film. I'm still on the fence about it. Like the action looks really good, but the guy who plays Kenshin, I'm just, I don't know. I just don't see him as Kenshin. And I don't know if that's just me, if it's just because I've, since I've watched the animes, like I have like a set 
idea of how Kenshin should be. But I mean, the action looks sick. And there's one part that I just, I don't even know how to describe it where he's running and like he like angles down and just like, it just looks insane. So I think the action is going to be really solid, but I just don't know how uh, Kenshin himself is going to do. And hopefully when I see more trailers, though, that'll, you know, that worry will go away. But I know a lot of people are getting excited about it, so if you haven't checked it out yet, it's, it's worth a look. Especially if you were a fan of the anime back in the day. Because it was a good anime, to be honest with you. I, I don't think I watched the whole thing because it got really filler-ish. Um, I did read the comics. Okay, it's a martial arts movie website, not an anime website, but part of my childhood sorry so but yeah check it out if you like Kenshin I'm sure you'll like the trailer uh, otherwise what was your opinion either way I want to know what you guys think if I'm the I tend to be that weird person that like goes against everybody else but uh, if you guys agree that Kenshin's kind of like not I don't know it's just something's off about him let me know otherwise maybe I'm just being weird so all right so following all of that madness was uh, another article on the raid and uh, Gareth Evans he I guess he's being busy like you know buying a small island or rolling around a lot of money or whatever he does because uh, he hasn't actually posted another behind the scenes for a while so there actually is one that got released on uh, Rotten Tomatoes I believe it was and so I posted a link to that so you could watch it it talks about the uh, main villain and um, pretty much the idea of shooting in one location it's it's pretty interesting. I just really want to watch the movie. I guess I could rant about this now, but I thought there was going to be a bigger release for it. But it's just kind of hitting all the major cities. I thought Atlanta was a big city. Apparently not. Apparently I was wrong because um, now I've heard that uh, it may it's supposed to be coming in like April. So I got to look into that and find out like the uh, where because I really really want to watch it. But I took off the 23rd and I can't even watch the movie. So, I don't know, I, I guess I just assumed since Mike Shinoda was doing the soundtrack for it and uh, they were hyping it up that it was actually going to be a big deal. But, we'll see, whatever. If I get to see it, uh, even in April, I'll be happy. So, check out the behind the scenes. Um, anything else I need to talk about? I don't think so. I mean, I did my review, as always. Man, it's hot. Like, I kid you not, why is it so hot out here? Ugh. I'm not looking forward to the summer. I'm going to freaking just sweat all over the place. Um, I need to wear shorts, buy shorts and wear them. I mean, I guess I could just not wear pants because you can't see, you know, from like what my face down. Everybody else can, but you guys won't be able to. And that's all that matters really is the opinion of people on the internet, not people in real life. Like, because obviously people on the internet aren't real. That doesn't make any sense either. What was I talking about before I talked about not wearing pants? Oh, so my review. Um, I did it on The Princess Blade, partly because of Kenshin. Um, I don't know, I was just thinking about like Japanese films that used to have a lot of action in them. And I remember that The Princess Blade was choreographed by Donnie. So I figured I'd go back and watch it and I wrote a review on it. Hopefully you guys got a kick out of it or uh, whether you agree or disagree, just let me know. There is a movie I want to review I gotta find it though but um, I guess I could rant about it a little bit it's an old movie older movie but if you guys if you're in the States there was this movie that came out called the three musketeers on Tuesday and it reminded me of um, it was just called the musketeer and I don't remember that much about it except it was like choreographed by like Yan Yan Zhang and it's like the most over-the-top like musketeer movie like it's got the end fight looks like uh, Once Upon a Time in China where they're fighting on the ladders. Ugh, I gotta find that movie again and like see if I can get a hold of it and review it because I really want to watch that again. I just remember like fighting on the wine barrels where like he does the splits. Oh man. So yeah, I don't care about the Three Musketeers movie. I just want to watch the Musketeer. So I'm going to look for that. Uh, so is that it? I think that's really it. Um, I'm done rambling. I didn't fall over the uh, tree branch. Uh, you probably noticed me cautiously stepping over it because I'm I was kind of worried that I was gonna fall over it It's still there in case you're wondering. I didn't just place it there and then move it aside or anything like that But uh set it for the week. I think it is so um, Yeah, check out the trailers everything that's up uh, Be sure to like the unlucky stars uh, page on Facebook if you can make a donation spread the word whatever That would be great and the bounty on my head would be uh, taken off 
I'm kidding. There's no bounty on my head. Seriously, though. Um, okay, so that's it for the week. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. This is Kay Miller, and this week has been finished.